Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new video. This is a, a different kind of video as today we're going to be having a look at a bit of a stream highlights, but I also want to comment on it at the same time. I want to talk to you about maybe my best experience streaming so far. I'm quite new to this whole Twitch thing, so I haven't gotten many hours under my belt, but the ones I have have been exceptional. And that brings us to an event that happened in February, where at the end of a five hour stream, I was face to face with probably my hardest confrontation in Path of Exile. I want to talk to you about the stream where I fought the Shaper. Move! Done. DPS, 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 DPS. Careful, gray baubles, keep them to the side. So first of all, let's quickly go through who and what is the Shaper. If you want to go straight to the fight, just go to this timestamp. But if you want a bit more context to how we got here, let's start at the beginning. So the Shaper is one of the bosses of the Atlas endgame system. In the lore, I believe he's the one who created the Atlas. And he's a pinnacle boss, one of the most important bosses in Path of Exile. You can fight the Shaper by using the key to the Crucible map fragments set. Basically, you get one fragment from defeating the Guardians of the Void, which are four bosses that you need to go find in maps. Once you have each fragment, you can put them together and go confront the Shaper. Boom. 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 Alright, you guys ready? It's happening. Major boss time. Oh my god. Oh, look how cool this is. Ooh, forest. Ooh, monkeys. First of all, I had to find and fight four mini bosses on this map before I could go and confront the Shaper. And that went fine at the beginning. Uh, the mechanics were kind of straightforward. Would it have been better for what, what would have, what would it have added? Whoa, whoa. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. Stop. Stop. Pillars, pillars, pillars. Okay. Then it was time for me to face the Shaper. Oh, let's go! Is this some Lovecraftian stuff? Yeah! Bob Lister. I'm keeping an eye out on him first so I can kind of get a, a wage of like what he does. What happens if I take one of these bubbles? They explode. What about these? Ooh, painful! Okay. Keep away from those. Okay, he's not taking a lot of damage. Oh! Well, there you go. So how do I know when he slams? Stay, stay in the back, stay in the back, stay in the back, and he does the veil thing. That's the slam, that's the slam right there. Woohoo, nearly died again. I was trying to gauge what kind of mechanics this boss was going to have, and oh my goodness, this was more of a Dark Souls boss than I anticipated. There were a lot of mechanics, and each one was a complete discovery for me, which led to many hilarious deaths. Okay, stay away from these. Whoopla! 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 No, no, impossible. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Stay in bubble. I can do that. Oh, Oh. Dog! Oh, no. Oh, no. The beam. No. On these first tries, I didn't realize that his vortex balls had to be led to the side, so they ended up everywhere, so I was just at a disadvantage immediately. His beam also caught me off guard multiple times. The DPS on that thing is insane. I can't, I can't, I need to run, I can't! Whoa! The beam... Come on, kill him! Kill him! Oh, what? How did that happen? <sighs> okay, don't panic. He's a tough one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In the end, it wasn't enough to survive, and I failed my first attempt at defeating the Shaper map. So I had to try again, of course. Now, remember, I was extremely tired. I had streamed and talked and chatted for five hours, which are rookie numbers, I know, but for someone who's never done this before, it's a lot. And on my second try, I wasn't doing so well. I died multiple times before the Shaper. We had a bunch of small fights, and I wasn't being careful, and I didn't realize that these fights could actually get to me. I play the Juggernaut build, so... It's usually quite straightforward. I can tank, but 
No, not this time around. So when I got to the Shaper again, the mechanics started clicking. I started coming up with a strategy. The thing that I need to focus on is um, obviously moving away from the slams and those big ass balls keep away from them. Also, as much DPS as I can. Stay in his back. The slam. Careful of the big ass balls. Get the aggro off. Whoa! Uh, what? I was out! I still feel confident I can do this. But unfortunately, I was out of revives because, as I mentioned, I died multiple times before the Shaper. But it was okay, I was learning. And I was so tired, I thought we were going to stop there. But as soon as I died for that last time, I was like... Let's do it one more try. One more time. By the way, you should come on stream. There's a, a lot that you're missing. The Minotaur is hard. Well, I'm harder. <laughs> Don't take that out of context, please. Then the third attempt happened. And I died again and again. Careful. Oh, oh damn. I was thinking, gosh, I really can't leave on a loss. Let's do one more. Even my super duper moderators were worried about me and the chat was like, maybe, maybe you should sit this one out. Maybe this one's too much. Dude, I can't. I got one more try. It's okay. I got all the energy in me, baby. But what people don't know about me is that I used to play a lot of Souls games. I still do. And so giving up, no thanks. Plus, I really felt like I could do it. So I decided to jump in for the fourth time. Now the differences this time compared to my previous ones was that I changed my left click to run only because it was slam before that. Every left click was a movement that I would jump over my enemies and then end on them. But unfortunately, it can sometimes cause some mistakes when I'm fighting bosses because if I click on the boss by mistake, I suddenly am teleported to him. That's not what you want. So I decided, okay, let's switch that to walk run only. So I sacrificed the movement of the slam to only use my blink on the space bar for movement. I thought, okay, walk with left click, blink with my space bar, go from there. And the key thing I did was that I started narrating my thoughts so I could stay focused. That was the crutch here. Careful, set those balls up correctly so they stay down south while at the same time DPSing. Careful of that big, big thing. There we go, careful, and move. Done. All right, portal. Keep my eyes on the portal. Oh, these guys, these balls over here, they need to come down south. I also need to move a bit more vertically, or horizontally rather than vertically, because I'm moving too vertically at the moment. All right, keep an eye on it. Continue doing the thing. She's breaking it. Careful. This could go, oh yeah, boom, move. Careful, there's another ball here. Move horizontally, horizontally, horizontally. Sideways, DPS, DPS. He's in a corner now, which doesn't help because I can't get to his back. Ah, unfortunately that. Okay, maybe I can s focus on the edges. Didn't even realize that he did his little pivot there and was about to completely destroy me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, moving sideways, sideways, sideways. Get around him, get around him. Careful, this. Oh, just in time. Activate this in the set down south. Keep moving, keep moving. DPS is there. The DPS is there. I can feel it. Come on, this is it. DPS. Oh, this is the, the moment to DPS him, obviously. Is when he's got his back turned to me and he's using his goddamn pivot. So obviously I got a few gray circles not really where I wanted them, but I'll live. Okay, now it's time to run. So I need to run as fast as I can to the end of this map. Is she here? There, there she is. There we go. Boblista, Boblista. Keep moving and stay out. Activate Berserk, although I could have kept it for the boss, to be fair. Maybe I should have. But in, in the interest of saving time, it's not a, the worst idea I've ever had. Okay, so we're doing this again. All right, focused. This is the moment to DPS him. Boom. Move. Explosion. Stay close. This is the part where I usually fail. And when it stops, move. Watch! Ah, that was a tough one. Careful, move out of the AOE. Jesus, he's quick. Okay. I can DPS. This is the moment. DPS, DPS, DPS. Activate the Berserker. It doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, cool. Move, move, move. Unfortunately, there's a gray. Okay, careful. Boss, good. Keep moving. Careful also. Ah, I didn't see the gray bubble. The gray bubble is really going to screw me over because I have to take them into account, and that's mental capacity being taken over. All right, this is happening again. No, 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 no. 
Moving in here. There we go. Whoa, that was a tough one. And move. Okay, I gotta be careful because those purple bubbles or whatever, they're still around. Move. Done. He's half life. He's got a lot of high life. Damn, this is a long fight. So what I need to be careful of is when this is done, stay out of anything. And also make sure, see, this is a problem. Ooh, that was a tough one. So if I don't, this is a DPS check. If I don't DPS him fast enough, these gray things keep popping up. That's not good. Careful. This is it. This is where I DPS. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. So they've been cleared. That's good. Oh, stay close. Yeah, I can do that. So careful. See that gray thing on the bottom right there? Yeah, I'm going to have to move with it. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, careful. Zigzag, zigzag. Not bad. Not bad. I'm still alive. He's there twice now? Sheesh. Okay, careful. Zigzag, zigzag. Oh, I, I, so this is not good. I've missed a few of his cues already. Okay, what's happening? Move horizontally, move horizontally. Right, okay, activate this, this, that. Okay, boom, we're good. Is there any more gray baubles floating around? No, just be careful, because when he comes back, he can basically one-shot you. There, right there. Damn, nearly missed him. Move, done. DPS, 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 DPS. Careful, gray baubles, keep them to the side. Moving, moving, moving. Okay, he's gonna do his thing again. Okay, come on. Stay focused. Focus, focus, focus. Keep that to the side. Not bad. Keep that to the side. On the side, here. Okay, but it's not the best side, but we'll take it. She's breaking it. He's coming out, back out. Come on, let me pass, let me through. Let me DPS you. Careful. Ooh. Oh, it's getting really tough. It's getting really tough because of those gray zones. And again, I'm not being careful. Stay in, stay in, stay in. And after hours of grueling sweat, tears, and abuse in the chat, <laughs> I was able to get the better of the Shaper. DPS, DPS, DPS. Yes, yes. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, GG, GG. Ooh. We did it! We did it! <sighs> what a challenge. What a challenge, guys. Honestly, thank you so much for your support. That was so tough. So much fun. I'm gonna ride that high for a really long time. So yeah, there it is. I just wanted to talk you through me fighting the Shaper for the first time, discovering what Path of Exile has to offer, and oh my goodness, there's so much to offer. So in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for following. Make sure to come on Twitch to be part of these incredible moments. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> see ya. Oh, that was a fight. That was definitely a fight. Thank you so much, guys. Was it fun? Yeah, I had a, I had fun. Thank you, Prof. Thank you. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Buenas Queen Queener. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me.